G'day, my name's Andrew Mulligan. I'm the local area sales manager for Verback Animal Health. I've been doing this area as the hunter and the coast up to Tamworth and out to Burke for the last 13 years. I've seen some significant changes in the animal health industry and uh, our pastures and things like that and the way we're, what we're demanding of our animals in the last 13 years. Um, we've got some new exciting things coming around and we're using those to actually promote animal health in the area. I do want to talk about the issues coming out of spring into summer. Um, we've got a great growing season, probably the best one we've had in three or four years. With that great growing season, there's many challenges that, that come out. Um, straight away, we're talking about the quality of feed and different pastures that we're putting our animals on. The biggest fear straight up is pulpy kidney. I know, for my mind, it's vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. If you could try and get something like a B12 injection into that and into that cycle of vaccinations it'll be really handy to be able to get the rumen to change with the, gra the grass that you're putting in there and keep that pulpy kidney at a lower level. The phone calls that I've been getting lately from the local hunter and over onto the coast is predominantly barber's pole worm. We're seeing more and more of it coming in to the area into the fact that we actually had deaths from barber's pole in Wieners this year and last year reported by the LLS. We are trying to get on top of that with new products coming out. We, we've just launched a dual active poron that should be able to combat any resistance known to Barber's Pole, but again, it comes back to management, management of pastures, management of animals to try and reduce those numbers. Animals coming out of this worst drought in history, we're seeing a lot of mineral um, deficiencies in, in animals. We must be supplementing with those orally and injectable minerals. Um, we need, the animals are moving into a different cycle. We're just about to join in a lot of cases. A lot of people are into joining at the moment and some are going to be coming in about November, December. It's really important to have those minerals in the body up for those, for those systems to change and to get reproduction, all the reproduction organs firing. So you know, injectable minerals such as molybdenum is a great way to boost those minerals within the animal. At this time when we've got this nice flushing feed, we've got great feed in front of our animals and we're pushing those animals just that little bit harder to try and put more weight on them because at the end of the day, that's what we're being paid on. We're being paid on kilos off the farm or litres of milk off the farm. These all have their limitating factors. If we can actually get a drench program in place, a vaccination program in place, a mineral supplementation in place, those animals will go forward and we will get that weight gain. So the more we can do for those animals and to get more weight gain and higher prices at the other end, the better. One of the main factors we see is people, when they're, when they're buying stock in, there is no induction program to be put. If we're spending 10 or $15 on that induction program when they first hit the ground, if we, you know, within three days of, of weight gains, we've nearly paid for that induction cost, then we're just in front going forward and forward on those animals. So we're actually saving money by doing a correct induction program with a proper drench the right wrench that actually works, the vaccination, the one that will actually give you bang for your buck, and your mineral supplementation. All these things are limiting factors. If we don't get those right, then we don't put on weight and we don't get paid.